Hello everyone, this is Disciple here for New Gaming, and I beckon you guys to join me on another Dark Souls tutorial. <laughs> kind of cheesy, but um, let's get started. Uh, this video is actually going to be based around a character, and this is and the character is Law Trick. Um, once you get the mystery key from the area in the Undead Parish, near where the boar is with the helmet, which you can backstab and he won't respawn and you won't get the boar helmet, but that's, that's, another, that's something else. Um, once you get the mystery key, you can have any undead parish. Uh, I would suggest you take the archers out first because, first of all, they're unarmored. And, um, of course, he's not going to give you much trouble as far as blocking. Sometimes they will switch to a sword, but even then they won't have a shield. But, yeah, take the archers out because at range they put themselves at no risk and yet they can hit you, so they put you at risk. So it's always best to take them out unless you're fighting very quick enemies that do a lot of damage. But uh, in, in this situation, the, even if these guys are aggroing you or trying to attack you, uh, a quick swipe to the archer will put him back down, put him down with the drink sword. And um, if you're facing uh, undead spear, uh, spear knights, the guys with the spears and the shields, and they're really defensive, really annoying, um, I, uh, you can bait them. Of course, to, you can hit their shields and then try to uh, when block their next attack. And if you bait them correctly, they'll, their uh, spear will bounce off your shield, and then they'll be open for attack. And over there is where you get the firekeeper soul to upgrade your Estus flask. But that's something else too. Um, be wary of these undead, uh, I guess, undead soldiers. Uh, they're wearing the heavy armor, and sometimes they have a uh, long sword, sometimes they have rapiers. And the rapier ones actually have a uh, parrying stance. I think I'll, I think you'll see it here in a second. This guy doesn't do it, I know that, but um, they do have a parrying stance, and I will try to point that out if it does occur in my video. Um, but be very careful when they do, when you do notice they're in a parrying stance, if you attack them, uh, they will parry you and repulse you, and then you take uh, a severe, a large amount of damage. But anyway, uh, back to the topic at hand, uh, clearing out these enemies uh, as you proceed further and end in the parish. Um, at the very top, if you uh, take two ladders, which I will show you in a, in a, in a, in a moment, um, you can actually go all the way up to the gargoyle boss if you guys are lost, they can help you out. Be very careful up here, there's a fallen priest, which is what I call him, I don't know the exact name for him. And then there's these hollows, and I call them hollows. There's numerous amounts of them. They're not very dangerous one-on-one, -on -one, but when they're outnumbering you like crazy, they're very dangerous. They'll put, they'll take down large chunks of your health and kill you before you even realize. So be very careful around this large group of hollows and this fallen priest. And like I said, I call them hollows because when you when you are undead like them, uh, you look exactly like them, and they're uh, you're called hollow. So I don't know. <laughs> Give me your guys' names for him, I guess. Uh, and give me your guys' names for this guy. I, I think a fitting name is Fallen Priest. He's in a church. He uh, looks like sort of like a priest. And yet he's trying to attack you when he's obviously either evil or dead or something. And his body's dragging around right here. It's pretty funny. It, it's, it provides some a bit of comic relief in the frustrating and um, sometimes frightening moments in Dark Souls. I love the Havoc engine. and just It's just it's giving me so many laughs. Um... Uh, I, I bet you guys enjoy it too. I don't know. Sometimes it gets quite of annoying when you don't know if an enemy's undead or uh, if an enemy's dead and or if they're actually following you, especially the smaller ones that drag along the ground or uh, I don't know the rats, especially. Sometimes they just wriggle around and you won't know what the heck's going on. Uh, over here is another undead soldier. Be very careful. Uh, he's a bit faster than the other one, I think. Yeah, he's a uh, rapier. I think the other one had a rapier. I don't know. Just be careful fighting under the stairs. Usually when you're lower, you have an advantage because they'll stab right over you and not hit you, and you can get them. Go ahead and use the Drake Sword special ability. If you guys don't know how to get the Drake Sword, you need to you need to get it. It's 200 damage. The requirements are only 16 strength. And if you put it in both hands, it's R2 is that little ground attack, similar to the um, Storm Ruler from Demon Souls. It's pretty it's pretty amazing, but it does a, it does a lot of damage to the durability of the sword. So it's yeah, it's very similar to the um, to the um, Storm Ruler, if you use it in the the uh, Storm King boss area, you can go ahead and take out the. You could have gone and take out the um, Storm Beast, but that's that's Demon Souls. Um, it did give me a lot of insight into this game, but this game is still much more difficult. I honestly think that my first playthrough on uh, Dark Souls is, was more difficult than my second playthrough on Demon Souls. And here's a ladder. If you climb it all the way up to the top, you go right into the boss area, fight the gargoyles. Um, they're not they're not difficult. Uh, if, especially if you have the Drake Sword and a decent shield, you can block you can block a decent amount of their attacks. Except for the fire attack, the second one does. It'll still probably break your guard. And um, if you unless you have a shield made to block fire, it'll it'll go right through. But um, three or four hits of this, uh, three or four good hits of this, to the gargoyles will, will eliminate them. 
Um, uh, side note, uh, I know I'm getting a little bit off track because this is supposed to be about a log trick. But um, when you do face the gargoyles, if you try to cut the first one's tail off, you can get uh, an item that I believe to be unique and only obtainable from the gargoyle boss, but I'm not 100% on that because someone has told me that it's not a unique item. But um, I believe you can get a unique item called the gargoyle axe. Uh, I'm not sure how good it is or what its requirements are, but I'm sure someone out there will comment and let me know. Now let's see, you break this right here. Uh, I was I was I was figuring you could break it. I wasn't sure. And if you have the mystery key, like I said, you get from the uh, the beginning of Undead Parish near the boar uh, with the big metal helmet. You can unlock this door. You see, it'll say mystery key used. I am in, in a second here. Now law trick. I go ahead and kill him right here. Now what you get for killing him is a ring of favor and protection, which increases your health, your stamina, and your, um, I think your defense, I'm not 100% on that, uh, uh, I'll go ahead and check and uh, put an annotation on screen for you guys, but um, you get you get a bonus to health and stamina for sure, I know that, but it, it breaks when you take it off, but very early on it is very helpful, and the only other thing you get from him is 5 humanity, which is, it, it's pretty cool. Um, I like that, and um, I, I'm glad I killed him, because if you don't, he will kill the lady that will upgrade your flasks. Um, you can revive her later on if you go through a series of quests, but I, what I, from what I've heard, those quests are very difficult. You'll have to fight him and two of his allies. You have to invade his world or something with a black eye stone. Uh, big reference to Demon Souls, invading worlds with black eye stones. Now you have to use the crack red eyed orb. But anyway, um, if you kill him now... It makes it a lot easier from what I heard. I'm not suggesting you do this, though. I'm gonna let you guys weigh the options for yourself. If you kill him now, it's a lot easier. You can kill him. He won't you don't have to do the quest to revive the lady that upgrade your flask, and you upgrade your SS flask right now, which makes it heal more of your health. Um, it won't increase the number of Estus flasks. Of course, you stoke a bonfire to do that. But if you do kill it, if you do kill him now, you will be able to Well, you could you could just upgrade your flask first. Let him kill her, do the quest, and then if you do the quest, and then kill him later on, you will get his full suit of armor. This is what I've heard, I, I'm not sure if it has been confirmed, but you get this full suit of golden armor. Now, I know for a lot of you that are new to Dark Souls and haven't played Demon Souls, you probably might want to wear heavy armor. A lot of Demon Souls um, pros or vet, vets, uh, heavy armor was a huge turnoff. it really decreases your stamina, and it, it really did not help you a lot in Demon Souls, but in Dark Souls... It makes, uh, it's making a lot more of a difference as far as what armor you're wearing and how much damage you'll take. Now, of course, um, unless you have a very high, very, very high strength stat, uh, his armor is going to slow you down significantly when you roll, and it will slow your stamina regeneration. But if you guys think it's something you're going to use, then go ahead and don't kill him now. Let him, let him kill her, and uh, do the quest to revive her later on, and get his armor. But if you guys don't want to go through all the trouble, you know you're not going to be wearing his heavy armor because it's slowing him down. He's an, he's an NPC. He doesn't really have a limit to his strength. He does, but not not like you do. He doesn't have to go and level up and farm and all that. But um, if you guys know you're not going to wear the armor, you know you're not going to you don't like heavy armor. You're not going to wear it. Go ahead and kill him now. Get your nice ring of favor and protection. I know it's it's not it's not only the the only copy of the ring you can get. You can get others later on, and I think you can get one from Snuggly the Crow for trading him something. I will do a Snuggly the Crow trading tutorial video later on, uh, probably soon after this one. But if you guys think uh, you want the armor, go ahead and uh, let him kill the Firekeeper lady. Um, and you can uh, revive her later on, do the quest, kill him and his two buddies. I don't know if they drop anything, I'm not sure if that's been confirmed or not. Uh, so they might, they probably drop souls and maybe some humanity or something, but uh, as I said, if you kill him now, it's a lot easier. Of course, he sells a lot of health, and his, I, I believe his weapons are magic enchanted, so they will they will do damage unless your shield blocks 100% magic and physical. And I don't believe a shield as such as this exists in Dark Souls. Uh, I don't know one's found one yet, but um, I do I do find a pretty good shield later on. Not in the, I don't have it in this video, but as you see, while I block, I'm taking a significant amount of magic damage, and um, I just I, I I played safe with the soul arrows. Do a lot of his health and go ahead and finish him with the uh, Drake Sword. And as you'll see, he gives me uh, how many souls? A thousand souls. He has five humanity and Ring of Favor protection. It's not a unique item. And the humanity is not unique either. You can trade it, you can uh, find it off enemies. I know it's nothing special or unique like his armor. But um, if you guys know you're not going to wear his armor, then there's no point in um, going ahead and waiting to kill him and going through the difficult quest. Um, actually, looking like I you know it sounds like I'm suggesting that you kill him now. But actually, looking back on this, uh, what I did, uh, from what I, I what I had known right, right then was just that if you don't kill him, he will go back and kill her. 
and you'll have it. I didn't know that there was a quest to revive her or anything like that. Actually, like now looking back on that, I I, I kind of regret killing him. Uh, I probably wouldn't wear his full suit armor. I might just wear like his helmet or his boots because I like the gold tint. But looking back on this, I regret not doing that because I, I doubt I'm going to be able to get his armor any other time in this game. And I haven't checked the trophies, but there might be a trophy for unique items or unique armor. And now I'm not going to be able to do that to my second playthrough. So I regret, honestly, I do regret, even though I wouldn't wear his armor, I regret killing him so early without being informed of what uh, I could do later on. And he was supposed to give you uh, a sun, a medal of the sun or something like that. And you can also trade that snugly. And it had some effects all in itself. But um, yeah, I regret killing him. And uh, you guys weigh the options for yourselves. Hope this helped you out. Uh, this video is coming to an end. I uh, love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps. Uh, peace out.